Thank you to EcoFlow for sponsoring this video. I'm thinking about doing something crazy. I still owe money on this Tesla Powerwall system, and I am considering ripping them out of my house and replacing them with the new Ocean Pro setup from EcoFlow. And I know that sounds ridiculous, but what EcoFlow is doing is totally new in this space. And you're considering adding batteries to your house. Worth considering. So before I get into all of that, let me get something that I love to do, and that's thanking you guys for the years of support and supporting the channel, letting me live my dream and check out cool tech and give you a chance to win 500 bucks. Made it super easy. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me how you would use your battery packs. Tell me a story about yourself. Watch the video all the way through. Give it a thumbs up. Um, make sure there's a way to contact you though, either in your comment or on your YouTube page. Let it run for 10 days, open to anyone in the world. As I was doing like research for this video, there's some topics that get me really excited. And this one was definitely in that category. I do get a little in the weeds. If you're a kilowatt nerd and you wanna know percentages, like I've got that here. Before I do, let me explain what the Ocean Pro is. It is a complete home energy, it's kind of like an ecosystem uh, with 24 kilowatt continuous power output, expandable to 80 kilowatts of storage, smart electrical panel that controls individual circuits. It also integrates solar grid generators, uh, also even EV portable power stations. So I've had two Tesla Powerwall 2s since 2017. Actually, my components are so old, they still say Solar City on a lot of them, because that's how far back this goes before Tesla Solar City kind of merged in 2016. So the system has been absolutely incredible for my family here in Southern California. When the grid goes down, which happens a lot, we stay powered. And when they do those kind of rolling blackouts, my family doesn't even notice. We're also a two EV family. So when the power goes out, it's not just inconvenient, it becomes you know, really problematic. So EcoFlow reached out about their new Ocean Pro and it's a brand that I trust. We've been using them actually to power our studio with their portable solutions uh, for years. They said their new system was better than what Tesla is currently offering. And I was like, sounds like a big claim. Tesla basically owns this space. But then they showed me one number. And the number was 24 kilowatts of continuous power output. And I looked up on Tesla's official specs to double check. Their new Powerwall 3s, which one more than what I have, uh, does 11.5 kilowatt hours continuous. And I wanted to confirm, so I checked solar reviews, clean energy reviews, and a bunch of other YouTubers that I trust in that space, and they all confirmed the same thing. That's more than double. Wait, what? Yep, uh, actually and legitimately double. Uh, so the way I saw it, I had Two choices. Uh, I could rip out my Powerwall 2 system that I'm still making payments on, or I could find somewhere else to install the system to kind of give it a shot. So this is my friend and neighbor near who lives three streets down. Uh, he has solar on his roof, but does not have battery packs. You were looking like at packs, right? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. We're in Southern California, power goes out all the time. He agreed at kind of my expense to let me install Eco, I didn't do the installation, but let me have the EcoFlow Ocean Pro installed at his house so we could test it and sort of see if the claims that EcoFlow was making actually worked. And what we found over the past few weeks, I think legitimately has me like reconsidering everything. You don't have to take my word for it too. I kind of wanted to go to the expert. Uh, so I was watching the channel Solar Guide. Uh, and the host there, Julian, was interviewing like actual installers who install these things in the houses. He was talking to a contractor, Chase, who said he'd installed 42 Powerwall 3s. And then he tells customers if they have high demand loads like HVAC units uh, or serious EV charging, Powerwall 3 is not the product. I think for a lot of people, they just default to thinking they should just get the Tesla uh, Powerwall 3s. It's not going to work again if you have heavy load. Uh, the Ocean Pro just handles all of that right out of the box. So there's a lot of reasons where I think EcoFlow starts to kind of separate itself, but the biggest one is in the smart panel. So when I got my Tesla set up, and again, going on almost 10 years ago, and I believe it's still the same, you get the battery packs and you get an inverter. But all of your circuits, so the stuff that's giving you power to your house is all on you. It's what you have kind of at your house. Now you can install a third party option by a company called Span, uh, which is gonna make that panel smart so you can control individual circuits from your phone, but that's like four to $5,000. EcoFlow makes that part of its ecosystem. That's included. There is a smart panel that came installed in Nier's house. So if I can call Nier back in, 
from his app, you can control all the circuits, right? That's right. I can control all the circuits. I have the AC, I've got the pool equipment, you know, different lights in different rooms, and I can just, at any point, if there's an outage, I can turn some off and on if I want to save energy, save battery power. Uh, if I'm changing a light switch, I can just easily turn off that circuit so that I can change the, the light switch. It's just, it's really cool. And you can see how much each one is I can see how much using. each one is using as well. And my son loves that. He loves to check to see what's, what's what is using the most power. He'll go and turn off lights when he needs to now because he can see that it's using more than it should. And actually, uh, Nir's not the only one that agreed to make an acting debut. Actually, Nir's son, uh, Noam, actually wants to, to show us kind of, it's a family thing. You get installed in your house. It's not just like one person. Would you come on in? Yeah. All right, so you're checking out the app. Are you checking out all the time? Oh, um, I mean, sometimes in the morning you go down and look at it, see like, oh, what's the battery percent at now? Is it charging from the grid or the solar during the day or something like that? Did you ever think yeah. about the electricity in your house or you just like turn the lights on and the lights went on? Yeah, kind of just turned on the lights and turned is, off the lights. Is this like changing it for you? Yeah, I mean, it makes me think about it more for sure. And like, obviously there's an app for iOS or Android, uh, but EcoFlow also like has a legit like tablet display that you can wall mount and you can sort of check it out. And what is it called? Um, the Power Insight 2, I there think. EcoFlow is available. He's available for sponsorships. You get a lot of information uh, in the app too, and I can get like really into the weeds. I got very nerdy with this, with kilowatt hours and percentages. Potentially you can go through and tell the system when peak hours are, and it can be smart about when it's gonna use solar, discharge your batteries to keep that bill as small as possible. So if we go through like a week of your consumption, so your house has used, I mean, almost 500 kilowatts of power, and then you've done about 25% on solar, and that's gonna depend on how big your solar array is on your roof. Yours isn't a giant array. It's right? not a giant array, so we don't get a ton of solar power. But. So about 8% from battery, and then about 70% from the grid. And if you had a generator, EcoFlow has a big external battery pack they call a generator. You could use that also as a battery right. to kind of power things here. And if he doesn't want to go into the app at all, there's a whole AI put. And this part I found really, really impressive where he didn't have to do anything. There's a few setup questions he asks you know, what your electrical provider is, so it knows your rates and your peak times, and it'll handle all of that for him. He doesn't have to worry about setting peak times. He doesn't have to worry about, well, it's sunny today or not sunny today. The AI handles 100% of that for him and just makes it the most efficient system possible. And then if you go to the top, it said your savings for the day. Yeah, that's up at the top here. AI mode savings today okay. compared to self-powered mode. You're saving 235% more so if I did. I mean, we're filming this at 10.45 in the morning and you saved almost $4. Right. Which like that, I mean, by the time the day's over, you're averaging what, $8? Yeah, and there's a spot for that too. So there's my average. So you're averaging? About $10 a day or so. I mean, that's not, that's not nothing. Not nothing. I mean, you're not gonna retire no. on 10 bucks a day, but it's better like in your pocket. Right. My Tesla system does some of the AI predictive stuff. It'll alert me and then charge up when storms are coming through Stormwatch. Uh, but the Ocean Pro takes that significantly further. It's analyzing weather, his usage patterns, and then it automatically decides on its own uh, when to charge from the grid, when to discharge, when to save for peak rates throughout the day. And like that time stuff actually matters depending on the time of the day. Electricity costs can be three or four times more during peak hours. It's usually like four to nine here in California. And I wanna be fair to Tesla, it's been a really good system. Uh, it can do time of use, but I set it manually and then adjust it when the rates change. Storage scaling is another advantage too. My Tesla system is two Powerwall 2s, so about 27 kilowatt hours total. In all fairness, enough for most homes for at least a day. Uh, the Ocean Pro starts at 10, but scales to 80 kilowatt hours uh, with just one inverter. No multiple units syncing, no complexity, just actual modular expansion. Safety is a concern too, right? You get these big lithium packs close to your house. You wanna make sure that things aren't gonna catch fire or explode. Each battery uh, has built-in fire suppression, which can activate in seven seconds. So if it detects a fire, it is activated like that. Automatic pressure valves are built in. It's got impact resistance that can handle a car's weight if a car like rams into it. It'll operate in minus four to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Obviously handle whether it's IP67 rated 
or submersion in three feet of water if maybe floods happen. My power walls are, are safe. I trust them They're in my garage, but they don't have active fire suppression per module. And look, I think Tesla deserves credit here, and I don't want to be negative towards them. Millions of Powerwall installations worldwide, a proven track record, smooth integration, a polished app. If you want batteries that are just going to do battery things, the Tesla system delivers. But EcoFlow has 17,000 ocean systems running in Europe with really solid reliability data. And a 15-year warranty they offer versus Tesla's 10, I think shows absolute confidence, and especially as I'm getting to the end of my 10 year warranty, I'm starting to think about what it would cost me if something happened. And I am definitely not telling anyone to replace their Tesla system. If your power walls work, keep them. But if you're shopping today and the Ocean Pro offers capabilities Tesla doesn't match, the fact that I am genuinely considering upgrading my system that I am still paying for I uh, should tell you how impressed I am. In fact, I very well might pull the trigger on that upgrade to get things like more power, uh, smarter controls, better integration, uh, longer warranty is a huge one. Tesla proves, I think, that home batteries work. Uh, EcoFlow showed what they should become. Uh, if you do want to learn more and you're interested about what EcoFlow, the Ocean Pro, you know, can do or you want to get a consultation, which is actually free, uh, link will be down below. I also want to give a huge shout out and a thank you to EcoFlow. This was a big deal uh, to install and to do and to kind of trust us to install. And I want to thank Nier and his family actually for letting us do it. Um, this was actually the second installation of the Ocean Pro in the entire United States. So an installation was going on at Nier's house. Uh, there was a lot of people here watching to making sure things went well. I thought that showed kind of the commitment that EcoFlow has uh, and also how confident they are in their technology. It sort of shows something this new. And if it didn't work, I would tell you that it didn't work. Nier would tell you that it didn't work. It's installed in his house. There's no like room for air. So I did just at the end of this video, want to shout them out as a thank you. This was uh, a lot of trust in the company that actually made a legitimately cool product.